in previous lectures you have seen ectodermal lining endodermal lining between ectoderm and endoderm then there is mesoderm and this mesoderm this is portion of notochord here this mesoderm divides into paraxial mesoderm this is paraxial mesoderm this is lateral plate mesoderm and in between these two there is intermediate mesoderm so this intermediate mesoderm forms nephrogenic cord and in nephrogenic cord gonads excretory tubules mesonephric duct and paramesonephric duct develops here you can see this is developing duct this is mesentery here is portion of nephrogenic cord and medial post structure here gonads develops then tubules develops then mesonephric duct develops and lateral most structure is this is paramesonephric duct so this is paramesonephric duct are monoerian duct so it develops from invagination of the coelomic epithelium this epithelium which invaginates if you see this is epithelial lining here epithelial cells it invaginates invaginates it invaginates like this so this invaginates and gradually it forms Here yeah, it becomes enlarged and forms the tube. A duct. So it forms the mesonephric duct. So mesonephric duct develops from invagination of the coelomic epithelium. Here coelomic epithelium. which invaginates and form the mesonephric duct and here you can see this end this end is upper end here this end is open and through this end it communicates with the peritoneal cavity this is the, this opening from ostia of the fallopian tube if you can see here here is position of developing gonad in case of the female this is ovary here is position of Highly part of urogenital sinus, you have already seen. The highly part of this is highly part of urogenital sinus. It develops from the cloaca. You have already seen. This is position of the. Urogenital sinus. 
क्लोरिका डिवाइस इनटू प्रिमिटिव यूरोजनाइज साइनस एंड रेक्टम तो दिस इज यूरोजनाइज साइनस एंड फॉर्म्स दी यूनिब्लाइडर ये दिस दिस इज यूरेट्रा एंड प्रिमिटिव यूरेट्रा एंड दिस इज पहली पार्ट ऑफ यूरोजनाइज साइनस दिस इज फाइव पार्ट ऑफ यूरोजनाइज साइनस सो दिस इज पहली क्या फाइव पार्ट सो दिस पार्ट इज दिस फाइव पार्ट ऑफ यूरोज And here, this paramesoidal duct lies lateral to mesoidal duct. Here lies mesoidal duct. Here is position of mesoidal duct, and mesoidal duct opens here. This is site of the opening of the mesoidal duct. And this thyroid part here, here is position of here is ostia. And around the ostia, fimbri develops. So here fimbri develops. So this is ostia and fimbri. Through ostia it communicates with the peritoneal tract. And this part fuses here and forms the uterovaginal canal. This is uterovaginal. Canal, and this uterovaginal canal ultimately forms uterus, cervix, and upper part of vagina. This thyroid part forms the upper part of the vagina here. This thyroid part forms the lower part of the vagina, and this forms the uterovaginal canal from upper part of the vagina. Here you can see in another diagram. Here is position of the ovary. This is fallopian tube. So this upper part, this paramesoidal fig duct from the uterine tube. This part is uterine tube. It forms the uterine tube. This uterovaginal part forms the uterus, cervix, and upper part of the vagina up to this level. Here, upper part of the vagina. Lower part is formed by the thyroid part of the urethral sinus. So these structures. Derived from Mullerian duct or Paramuriaphic duct in female. In male, if you see in male, this this part, this uterovaginal canal, this uterovaginal canal, in male here, this part forms. Prostatic, uterine, it forms prostatic uterine, or uterus masculinus, uterus masculinus, in male, and remaining part become disappear from here to here. This part disappear. In case of male, this part disappears. 
and this upper part, this terminal part, this upper part, it forms appendix of testis. In case of male, here testis is present. So this part, terminal part persists and remaining part disappear and it attaches here and the testis and form the appendix of testis. Appendix of testis. Are hydrated of margarine. Hydrated of margarine. This is hydrated of the margarine or appendix of testis. So remember, appendix of testis is a cranial most part of the pyramidal effect duct. And here is mesial effect duct. The cranial most part of the mesial effect duct it forms in male, it forms appendix of epididymis. So, appendix of epididymis is formed by the cranial most part of the mesial effect duct. So, mesial effect duct already discussed. So, here remember only this, this thing in male paramedial effect duct forms prostatic utricle or the uterus masculinus and appendix of testis, appendix of testis, two structures are found. So this is all about the paramedial effect duct, arbolarian duct.